guys and welcome back to my channel at home with shell and to my first declutter and clean with me video of 2024. I am on a huge declutter mission this year and the other day I just went around the house room by room and then made a list of everything that I wanted to declutter, put it into a bit of a checklist, I'll put it on the screen now so you can share it and I will also upload a blank template, I'll put it in the description down below so if you want to do it too. For me having the list really helps me focus and then I really enjoy ticking things off when I've got it done and this year I just really want to focus on having a big declutter of the house just to make cleaning easier and also quicker. The first room that I'm tackling is the utility room as over Christmas in particular it got really messy in here and it just turned into a dumping ground just to quickly get things out of the way so I just really need to get it all organised and clean in here. Yesterday I gave it a good clean and declutter and now I feel so much better it's done. I really hope that you enjoy this video and it gives you some motivation to declutter and clean too. If you do like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy this kind of content then make sure to subscribe for more. This is what the utility room currently looks like. So as you can see after Christmas it just became a bit of a dumping ground and I feel like I've cleaned most other places apart from in here so I need to give it a really good sort out I don't know if you can see the shelf up here that almost looks like it's going to fall off that needs a clear out as well I just yeah I just need to have a bit of a declutter in here and sort things out I've got some why is he up there I've no idea <laughs> he's hiding up there so yeah I just need to have a real good declutter and sort out in here. The first thing that I needed to do was clear the space and the sides so I could actually give it a good clean. It's like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles of yesterday. Don't you want to go further away from the fray? Let's not get stuck in our worries. We'll make our own way. Won't you come outside where the sun flowers? I bought these shelves from B&M last year and they were such a bargain. I think they were around £6 for the pair. They're really handy for storing the laundry bits on. I decided to tackle the room in two halves and get this done before taking out the big unit. So once everything was off the sides, I used my mini dustpan and brush initially and then cleaned it with Method antibacterial spray. The sides are nice and clean now and I've sorted the fruit and veg so I just need to add that back in. I love this fruit and veg holder, again it was a bargain, only £2 from Aldi. They do have some very similar in B&M and Amazon which I will link down below. I 
got this new detergent bottle the other day from B&M for £3 which I'll fill with the capsules and then I already had another two bottles, one for softener and one for scent boosters. These will then sit on the shelf. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but baby. I keep my vanish and pegs in these boxes on the windowsill. Better step into the light, just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long That's this half of the room done and I'm pleased with how it looks as it just looks and feels so much better in here. Now moving on to the rest of it and this unit that needs a massive sort out. I just need to remove all of it so I can clean in here properly and then go through all of the boxes and decide what I actually want to keep. You shouldn't doubt yourself because you're a work of art. Once the unit was out, I was able to properly clean behind it the skirting boards and the floor and then I used a magic eraser on any stains on the wall. Where the bin goes, there were quite a few stains and I do really need to paint in here at some point but that's a job for another day. A wipe down of the cupboards and the room is clean. So I've cleared everything out of here now. This side is pretty much done. I've got the unit out of here and I'm really debating whether to put it back in because actually without it in there there is so much more space but the difficulty is, is a lot of the stuff that's in the unit we do use all the time and I haven't really got enough space to put it anywhere else. So I've got loads of cookbooks up here and the shelf does look like it's about to fall off. So I'm going to take them off now and then, yeah, I think I will put it back in but it would look a lot better to be honest without it in there. I'm at that stage now where <laughs> it's definitely worse before it gets better. There's literally stuff like everywhere in here. So the utility may look tidy, but the rest of the kitchen is an absolute disaster. I'm just trying to get by. Nick tightened the screw on the um, on the bracket of the shelf just to try and straighten up the shelf, which looks like it's worked. Um, so hopefully it will stand. And then I went through all of my books to see which ones I actually wanted to keep, and then put those ones into the unit. I then sorted through each box once at a time. The first I stored reusable bags and lunch bags in and then I did manage to make additional space from sorting through two of the boxes which meant I could put the mop bucket at the bottom meaning that it didn't need to sit on the floor. A box for recycling, one for tools and one for some of the bits that used to actually sit on the side. So hopefully now it will actually stay clean and clutter free in here. I didn't want to put the toaster on top of here, but I'll sort the other kitchen cupboards before I can put it somewhere else. And then I just added a vase and a plant to the top of the unit. Up 
I have my weekly, daily, monthly cleaning schedule in a frame and I'm just using the command stickers to put it onto the wall. And then I've got another hook which I'm just going to hang the mop off again just to keep it more organised and off the floor. So there we have it, the utility room is done, all cleaned and organised and much better now. So hopefully now everything has a home, it will stay this way and no more dumping in here. I really hope that you've enjoyed this clean and declutter with me. Next week I'll be back with another declutter video, probably my kitchen cupboards, which will definitely be a big one. As always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!